Happy Wednesday, boys and girls. Well, today's book reading, it's going to be about sea turtle. We're going to read the story, the life story of a sea turtle named Tammy Turtle. Oh, she's got a name, Tammy. A tale of saving sea turtles. So we are going to see how her life was saved by some helpful humans. All right. Hmm. Ooh, let's see. You see okay? All right. One dark night, Tammy Turtle hatched from an egg in a sandy nest. She had a hundred brothers and sisters. They hatched that night too. Now, can you imagine to have a hundred brothers and sisters? Some of you are probably thinking, well, I've got one brother or one sister and that's already a lot. And she has, Tammy has a hundred. That's not all. The story continues. Tammy and the other turtle hatchlings were tiny. They needed help. But helpful humans had found the eggs 55 days earlier and checked on them every day. So long before they were born, there were some helpful humans who were already looking after you know, them. They were there to watch over the little loggerheads as they hatched to make sure they were okay. We should be heading for the sea, Tammy said to Tessie, her newly hatched sister. Yes, replied Tessie Turtle. Something tells me that hungry animals are all around us. They don't want to be eaten. But the baby turtles didn't need to worry. The helpful humans guarded them. They kept them safe from raccoons and ghost crabs. So different animals that would eat them. But not anymore because they have some helpful humans to protect them to make sure they're not eaten. Suddenly, the nest began to boil. It boiled over with dozens of tiny turtles as they sprang into action. The water, the water glowed and showed them where to go. Tammy and Tessie and their brothers and sisters hurried toward it. Here we go, cried Tammy as they all slid into the sea. I guess they're sea turtles after all, so swimming is quite in their nature. Oh. Alright, didn't drop the book. No worries. Waves washed over the turtles and turned them upside down. The sea was a wild place. Hungry animals were there too. Oh no, do they have to worry in the ocean? But every tiny turtle knew that it should head for deeper water and go fast. They all knew it without any grown-up turtle to guide them. They just knew in their heart that they gotta go to the deeper part of the ocean and had to do it fast. Nature had given them a source of energy to escape their enemies. For earlier, each tiny turtle had absorbed yolk from its egg. It gave them enough food to last three to five days. The tiny turtles didn't stop for anything. They swam as fast as they could until they came to the Gulf Stream. And the Gulf Stream is a fast-moving stream of water. The water was warm in the Gulf Stream and full of sea life. A plant called sargassum weed floated in it. Oh, we can hide in this seaweed, said Tammy, and look for food things and look for good things to eat, added Tessie. The little turtles did find plenty of food in the Gulf Stream. Later, they drifted apart and each one swam and ate and grew larger. They grow quickly. All right, make sure you see okay. Several years went by and Tammy Turtle became big and strong. One day, Tammy was looking for food. She saw one of her favorite foods, jellyfish. Oh, I will gulp that down at once, thought Tammy. 
and she grabbed it with her big beak. But it wasn't a jellyfish, it was a plastic bag left by careless humans. Tammy Turtle felt sick after eating it. Yeah, sometimes we humans are careless and we leave garbage all over the ocean including plastic bags and that can actually make turtles very sick. So if you ever get if you ever get a chance to visit the ocean, don't leave garbage in there and definitely not plastic bags. She could not even swim well. Waves tossed the, tr the tired turtle and washed her ashore. Again, helpful humans were there and found Tammy. Maybe we can save this sea turtle, they said. We'll take her to a place where she can rest and get well. So thankfully, not all humans are careless and some are very helpful. So, they took Tammy Turtle to a science center. She was put into a large tank and cared for every day. Soon, Tammy was well enough to return to the sea. A tag was put on one flipper. The tag would tell humans about her if they found her again. Then they took Tammy to the beach and a man, a man came with his camera. He put Tammy Turtle on TV and a crowd of people came to wish her well. See how, how nice they all are to Tammy. Tammy thought, humans really do care about me, but it's time to say goodbye and she crawled into the sea. Time passed and Tammy became a fully grown mother turtle. One dark night, she crawled ashore. She came up to the beach, on the beach, to lay her eggs in a sandy nest. <laughs> Soon, another turtle slowly dragged herself out of the water. Tessie, is that you? cried Tammy. I've come to lay my eggs too, answered Tessie. It was most amazing. Tammy and Tessie had come back near the beach of their birth to lay their eggs to give birth to more sea turtles. Helpful humans came again to the beach and quietly watched the mother turtles. The big loggerheads dug deep nests in the sand with their back flippers. Tammy and Tessie acted as if they were in a daze. They didn't notice the humans at all. The turtles quietly laid their eggs and then, using their flippers, covered the eggs with sand. When Tammy and Tessie were finished, they slowly crawled to the water. They never looked back at their nests and swam away in the sea, just like their mother had done years before. And then, the story ends here, but I bet the stories of the sea turtles go on, where the little baby turtles will do just like their mothers did, and they will probably grow big, grow strong, and then give birth to more baby turtles, baby sea turtles again. So I hope you liked today's story. I hope you learned a little bit about sea turtles like I did. And uh, tomorrow we'll jump right into a different book. See you tomorrow. Bye.